But the heavy heart following his father's tragic death last week, Don Saunders Jr. closed out the Carifto Aquatics Championships for Team Bahamas this morning in the open water competition. Charles Fisher was at the starting line. Even though many came out to support Team Bahamas, a majority of those that were there was for 16-year-old Donald Saunders Jr. A very emotional moment before race time, trying to focus on the task at hand. And another moment of focus before jumping into the water. Then the cheers of the fans and that smile on his face yeah, yeah, yeah. says he's ready. Pretty rough course around 5K and when it was all done, the first behemoth out the water was Donald. First to meet him was Grammy. I smile for my dad, so I, have no, I know he's proud of me. I just wanted to make him proud. I know he would have been out there on a boat cheering me on. He wanted to get a flag, a boat, a put it on the boat for me. But I hope I made him proud. Although a uh, tragic accident happened, it still keeps me calm. I like to swim. It helps me to clear my head from thinking and wondering thoughts. His mom, Tiffany, not far behind, on a big hug. It was all his. It was all his decision. He wanted to do it, and he made us all proud. Uncle and twin of Donald, they are very surprised himself at the determination of Donald Jr. to get out there and represent his country. It, it was surprising that, that when, I, when I heard that he was still actually going to do the event, I was like, you know what, though? I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised because Don, that's the type of person Don, Don is, and he's a product of us, me and Don. He's a product of us, which is excellence, which is hard work, which is want to serve the um, the Bahamian people. And this is this is a kind of a small way for him to, he can't serve like some people, but this is a way to represent this country. And um, I'm so proud of him, I'm, I'm telling you. I, I don't know how he did it. I, I, I looked at it each lap and I'm like, this guy still is in there. Support was all around as the Green Mile Club, Dawn Junior School from St. John's, came out to show love. We would have liked everybody, but this is still Easter break for the Anglican schools. So some people are away, some people are uh, with family. So we got a pretty good crowd this morning, and we are grateful for the boys and parents who came out to support our chaplain, Donald Sanders. And uh, Donald is actually our chaplain in the Green Mile Club. So Donald keeps us spiritually together, uh, leads us in prayer. Uh, Donald is also the one to help us in terms of when we have the retreat, which we had in Eleuthera. Donald every day led us in devotions and prayers and did little short messages or addresses to encourage us. So today we are out here to encourage Donald. Talk about courage. Donald Sanders Jr. going out there and not only representing the Bahamas, but his family as well. Under tragic conditions and one last word for the Bahamian public. And it goes through emotional times, but... To the support of many payments, I'd like to see that we still have love, love in this community. Couldn't have said it better. For the Bahamas tonight, I'm Charles Fisher. Sean A. miller -Wevo, tying up, but it doesn't matter. It's gold for the Olympic champion. On May 4th and 5th, the sun will shine down on the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. Out, Fraser, now, coming through the field. Hundreds of the world's best track athletes from more than 40 countries will compete to qualify for their spot at the Paris Olympics.